Are you on track to enter a career path you'll actually enjoy? Are you pursuing a job just because it'll make you successful? Are you staying in a job you despise? Yeah. Hey, what's up guys? It's M, and welcome back to my channel. This video is mostly intended for college students trying to decide upon a major, but it also applies to those of you who may be struggling to choose a career path or if you should be staying in a job you don't enjoy. As some background, when I was 16 years old, I was the most depressed I have ever been in my entire life. I struggled with the question of why am I here and what is my purpose? They were very daunting questions that constantly ran through my head, but I needed an answer. One day during my lowest of lows, I realized that I love to help people, that I sourced so much joy from trying to make other people's lives just a little bit better. That ideology was enough to push me out of those really dark days and on my journey of becoming a psychologist. Now that I'm through some college and I'm taking psychology courses, it is just more solidified to me that this is my right career. But this wasn't always the case and I did have to do some soul searching to really make sure this was the career I wanted to embark upon. In this video, I'm gonna share some of those topics that I thought about. My first thought was to distance myself from societal expectations. Ever since we're little, we're taught that there's this path we have to follow. It usually looks like going to school, getting a good education, graduating, getting a job, finding someone to love, having children, working, and then retiring, and then being happy. Being born to a certain family also means that you have a certain expectation. An expectation that could pull you away from what you may truly be interested in. So take a step back to look at this. Ask yourself if your parents are pushing you towards a career that they think you'll enjoy or if it's a career that they think will make you successful. With that, I'm brought to my next point. Define your version of success. Society makes us believe that high materialistic possessions is correlated to success. For instance, having a big home or lots of cars, fancy jewelry, you get the gist. As a psychology major, I've learned how society implements these materialistic beliefs onto us ever since we're little. For instance, a billboard of a man with a nice car and a woman implies that the man needs the car to get the woman. So the man works hard to try and get the car to move on to that next path of life, which is starting a family. It's really a lot of weird subconscious things going on. So it is so important to ask yourself what you think success is. For me, success is having a very quiet life, maybe living on a farm with some horses and animals. I don't want a big home or a lot of nice cars. I would prefer to have a very minimalist life. But if your version of success aligns with the socially acceptable one of materialism, you have to ask yourself if you're going into a career that will let you live that lifestyle. Another very important aspect that helped me understand I wanted to be a psychology major was taking a look at my life and understanding if I was happy in it at this moment. I did a lot of things growing up because my parents told me to. They wanted me to be the best artist and the best athlete and the best student possible. So I put a lot of time, effort, and energy into trying to be the best in all of those things. So when I neared the end of high school and my parents were elated to hear that I was pre-med, I thought it was all going to work out. When in actuality, I was simply once again trying to be the best and not actually pursuing something I was genuinely interested in. When I realized I didn't want to be pre-med my second week of college, I was really, really confused and scared. Turns out being in an environment that fostered creativity and encouraged getting involved in a plethora of activities, I had nothing to worry about. So give yourself some time to think and to answer these questions about your belief. Are you doing what makes you generally happy or are you pleasing others? Are you defining success on your own terms or are you conforming to society? Are you happy with your life right now? If not, what would you change? What would be your dream scenario? I urge you most specifically to think about your dream life scenario because it's a great way to have an end goal and work backwards. Next, 
Look for your aha moments. What I mean by that is look for the moments in life where you felt most inspired. Maybe you found yourself teaching a kid how to swing a baseball bat and you loved it. Or maybe you found yourself in high school giving a presentation on law and felt those little butterflies pop up in your stomach. Look for those moments and think about what it is that makes you feel inspired from them. If you haven't experienced that moment, it's completely okay. I would just go out and try more things and see if something clicks. When you finally find that thing that clicks, you'll know. For instance, the moment I realized I could become a psychologist, I was elated. And from that moment until now, I haven't changed that desire. So now that you've found that idea that sticks with you and that sounds really good to pursue a career, I do have to implore you to be careful with labels. The naming fallacy is what us psychologists refer to as the incorrect assumption that by applying a label or name to something, we have in some sense explained it. So in terms of this video, that means if you say, I'm going to be a psychologist or I'm going to be a lawyer, it makes it a lot harder to explore any other options because you're solidifying that statement into your belief system. More so, this relates to your family or friends telling you to go into a career. Eventually, the more you hear somebody telling you to go pre-med, the more you're going to believe that's what you should do. So be careful of those two factors. Be careful of rushing to find a label to describe yourself. At the end of the day, the label isn't what's important. What is important is finding a career that you're going to be happy in. To move this video one step forward, I'm going to say it's never too late to change. So even if you spent all this time trying to find your dream career and you think you found it only to find out you really despise it, it is okay. Being young gives us such a privilege to explore our interests, especially if we're in college. Saying you're switching majors in college is so common, people don't even second guess it. There's always time to switch. Like I said, it's more important to choose a career that's going to make you happy than to worry about graduating in a certain amount of time. Your personal happiness comes before everything else. No amount of money, status, or reputation should deter you from pursuing something that'll increase your happiness. And finally, it is okay not to know. The last thing I want you to take away from this video is to think that you have to come to some sort of conclusion. I wanted to make this video to encourage you guys to maybe think about some things you haven't thought about before, such as how society or your family can be influencing and putting pressure on you to choose a certain career. This is your life. Put yourself first and try not to fall into the toxic hole of comparing yourself to others. We all have different ideal careers, we all have different versions of success, and we all are struggling with our own personal issues. And by that, I mean none of us have it completely figured out. I don't know of one person that has no doubts at all. Don't let the pressure of people declaring their majors super early or securing an internship in their field by junior year pressure you into choosing for yourself. Take the time to do some soul searching and figure out what it is you want to do for the rest of your life that is going to make you happy. But don't put too much pressure on yourself because you can always change. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helps. If you have any questions or just want to talk about choosing a career path, feel free to comment down below or to shoot me a message on Instagram. If not, I will see you guys next week.